Mary Ottman, with her background of leading multi-generational teams to successful development and fielding of cutting edge weapon systems and software, today, Mary helps business leaders with successful communication strategies to be heard for more effective results in half the time. Please welcome Mary Ottman. I will never forget the day I figured out I had my leadership hat on a little too tight. So I was deputy product director and um, of a cutting edge uh, ground-based radar system that helped uh, unmanned aircraft avoid other aircraft in the sky, first of its kind. And I was the second in command. Somebody brought me some problem. We, we, it was, there was something every day, right? And they brought me a problem and I just looked at it and I started laughing and they had been kind of worried you know, like waiting for to see what I was gonna do, and I wasn't the horrible boss that would chew you out or anything like that, but, you know, but they relaxed visibly when I laughed and when I took it as, okay, and we even started calling it opportunities for excellence. Anytime somebody brought a problem, I, all right, this is another opportunity for excellence. We are gonna take care of this. And then they started calling it that. That is the magic. It's how you treat people. It's how you respond under pressure because everybody's watching you and they're taking their cues from you on how to handle things in the office. Now, what does that have to do with sales? This is critical, especially for startups and small business. The most critical part of your sales results is your sales force and your employees and your engineers, are they happy? Are they trained? And are they gonna leave at the drop of a hat and leave you hanging? My thing is developing your people and developing a heart in your business that people want to stay and your mission becomes their mission. That's the gist of what I'm gonna talk about today is how to build that bridge to better communications so you can build that foundation that you can then launch your great ideas into the world. So the first key to building that sales uh, re results that are gonna take you from invisible to invincible is lead like a boss, like a boss, right? Eyes are on you all the time. Be in integrity. People look at you and if they see you holding them to a different standard, then they're, they're not gonna feel valued as people. And that's, that's really the key here, is everybody wants to be valued and respected, right? So just be in integrity with yourself all the time. All right, so the next tip is model the behavior you want. What do I mean by that? You have to walk your talk, you have to tell them, you have to show them. People learn by seeing, by hearing, and by doing. That's proven statistically. Now, can you imagine if you're trying to teach someone how to code software, how to do compiler things, how to, you know, integrate with the logistics team and figure out fielding data, blah, blah, blah. Can you imagine how much more complicated that is? But once that person gets trained up on exactly how you want it done, they want to do good things for you. And if you show you care, they will. Anybody that's worth a darn cares and wants their work to matter. And there's nothing worse than being treated like a number. And the best opportunity you've got to impress that upon your employees, how much you care about them and what they're doing for you, is the day you interview them. Don't wait till they start. And I would bring in my, my people and let them talk to people about the work. Don't just take my word for it. You know, here's the people you're going to be seeing more than you see your loved ones. Let you see them up front, right? So paint that picture up front for your employees. Another key tip for startups and small business is to have frequent status updates of your company with your employees. Having those meetings with your people, even your contractors, your 1099 folks, because they, they're building up that knowledge in their head of your business. So you want to encourage people with information. You cannot communicate enough. And if people don't get it, it's your fault. So that's basically the heart of what I want to communicate to you guys as sales strategies. You can learn the latest technique. You can learn the, you know, the best closing script and the high pressure stuff. And sure, that's gonna work, you know, some of the time, part of the time. But the, the easiest 
It's like the warm customer versus the cold customer. Hiring great people and keeping them happy is literally the easiest thing you can do to increase your sales. What's your widget? Okay, it's big data, but what are the benefits of that? You're gonna free up time, you're gonna, you're gonna save people millions so that then they can increase their charitable works. What, you know, and, and help your employees see that vision of what you're gonna do in the world and how they're gonna help you and what an important role they play. So have a passion for your mission and a genuine, genuine concern for your employees' development because they'll know if you're making that stuff up, right? They'll know. And if you care about me and you mentor me and you help me to grow and get a bigger uh, salary so I can send my kid to a better college, I'll stay longer and I'll work harder and your employees will too and together you will change the world.